World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show on HWWS Web TV. I'm GW Pomager. You're the World Wide Web. And we're here in the studio. And on the line, we're hanging with Shane O'Neill, a writer, an editor, a consultant. Uh, he worked with our great friends, the And I Thought Ladies, to put out a magazine for you so that you could see who the hottest top 25 indies in the arts community are. Shane, welcome to the Hanging With Web Show, my friend. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know what? We get to talk to the girls quite a bit about all the work that they're doing, but we very seldom get a peek of behind the scenes uh, at the whole team. So, Shane, let's talk about, uh, let's start there. Uh, let's talk about uh, the 25 hottest indies this year and your role with the magazine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it was really interesting. I've never actually uh, put together, been an associate editor on a magazine before. And so I started, uh, the end I thought, ladies, brought me on in June and they, you know, mentioned the whole process of how it's going to go. I get to interview some people. And so I started uh, rolling out interviews sometime in October and November and got to piece everything together, write some fantastic articles, meet some wonderful people, get some great advice. It's been, and now it's finally published after months of hard work uh, with Jade, Wilnona and Brandy. It's finally out. And you can purchase it online via their website. Um, once you can finally come in contact with magazines and be on public, it should be on shelves everywhere. It's that great. Fantastic. Uh, we have uh, the, wait, there you can, uh, there it is. All right. You can find the 25 Hottest Indie Authors Magazine at uh, magcloud.com. Uh, all of the stuff, all, all of that. the internet <laughs> web address stuff. Click. Go, bam, you'll find it. Um, and uh, so, Shane, this was your first experience working with uh, putting a magazine together. So, um, what you, know, you did interviews, you you know, you gathered content, and you you know, you kind of helped with the whole thing. What was your favorite part of of this experience? Oh man, uh, I would have to say either the interviews or um, just kind of putting the finishing touches on it all together because the talent the, that is showcased in the magazine, it's some really phenomenal people. Like I got to interview this guy, Ken Levine, who wrote for shows like Cheers and MASH and Frasier. And, and then I got to show, I was able to showcase a couple of people that I'm close friends with as well, who are very talented artists who wouldn't have this type of platform to get their work seen or heard. So, and then just putting it all together, knowing that it's all done, all the little edits, the commas, the semicolons, everything. It's good that it's it's just, you know, it's it's kind of like watching a baby be born, I guess, you know, you let it let it build up for a while and then uh now it's out. That's it is it's it's an amazing thing to be a part of a of a collaborative process like that. Um what what brought you in the end, I thought, ladies together? Um uh what what is your background? What is what is, what brought you into? Welcome, by the way, to our creative arts community. Uh, we serve crazy every Wednesday, <laughs> so welcome. Uh, what what brought you here, man? What what is your passion? What is your background? So I so the uh, and I thought, ladies, um, they are actually friends with uh, my mother, and so they kind of you know put they were always you know kind of friends, um, um, some consulting stuff for them. And I graduated from college um, in this past May. And so, you know, the whole trying to figure out, you know, what am I doing type thing was happening. And I was an English major. So they're like, oh, it was kind of, you know, like a match made in heaven right there. They needed uh, someone to help out with a couple of the articles and associate editor. I need something to do. And I like doing this stuff. So that's awesome. That really is. Yeah, um, so now uh, I, I'll. I'll uh, I actually, I love being an artist. I love being an author and a, and a producer and director and host. I love what we do. Um, but I do understand that the world looks at us like we're all a little bit, just a little bit off. So I'm going to ask you the question and we're going to answer it for Facebook and for YouTube. But not the first time you've heard this question, your mom asked you the same question. You majored in English. Okay. Yep. Uh, what 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 drove that decision? What what is it about language and English and, and, and writing that you that you enjoy? What what drove that decision? 
Well, it kind of helps that every single member of my family is an English major, my mother, my father, and my sister. So, so they really did. So they really did ask, what are you thinking? Because they already knew. <laughs> they, are, they knew ahead of time. What I, usually when I talk to a, a writer and, a, and a, 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 I, I majored in journalism, uh, when I talk to another writer and things like that, um, the first thing I say is, um, uh, we're, what were you thinking? And welcome to being poor. But you already <laughs> had those, you had, the warning signs were already up and you still came down this road, brother. Um, mm -hmm. So welcome. Uh, and so uh, what are you looking forward to doing? Where does it, Where is your journey headed right now? So I actually uh, just signed on to work for uh, a talent agency called Town Concierge, uh, and I start this next week, and I'm going to be an event coordinator and planner, um, and so I'm doing that for now. Uh, well, also, too, like with the English background, my, my family was actually really encouraging with it because they say, hey, if you, as long as you can read and, read and write and speak well, you can do just about whatever you want. Amen to that. That's right. Uh, it, it is... You know, the, the, the human animal is a storyteller. And whether we're telling stories in magazines, other people's stories, or we're making up uh, our own stories around the campfire, making films, making uh, movies or television, uh, writing songs, uh, or passing on information, teaching math and science, you have to be able to communicate to do those things. So uh, your, your, your family was very smart. If you can communicate, take information in and get information out, you can do anything. Hello, Dan Fox, uh, out there in the chat room. So thank you uh, for being here with us uh, as we record our, our uh, YouTube interviews uh, this weekend. Um, we're uh, right now we're with Shane O'Neill uh, online. Uh, wonderful teleconferencing uh, is able to keep us doing what we do, even when we're far apart from one another. Um, so Shane, you just became an event coordinator. Wow. Uh, so uh, in that vein, uh what's coming up for you that you're looking forward to the most um i'm really excited to um i'm really excited to help people really talented people you know uh get the next step out get their message out kind of like what i did with the magazine as well so like i understand there's a lot of people out there who have a story to tell who have something they want people to hear who have really incredible stories and they don't quite have you know the the ability to just go out there and do it all by themselves so, you know, kind of being a helping hand in these times, helping these people spread their message. Um, that's something I really look forward to doing. That is awesome, man. Um, as you were uh, working the magazine and, and now that you're, uh, you're we're going to call him now, now in the magazine world, uh, Shane is now a seasoned veteran. <laughs> because uh, when you've had trial by fire, and I know the and I thought ladies, they want a top notch magazine. And so... Uh, Shane got a trial by fire here. He got thrown into the deep end of the pool, and apparently, and I, I just got a chance to see the magazine myself. Uh, he swam like a champ. So uh, now that you know, what was the most interesting thing you learned along the way? Um, the most interesting thing, uh, I think it's just kind of one of the most classic things out there. Is just teamwork really does make the dream work. If everyone's on the same page, doing their little bits, uh, then it can really come together. It, it is, and it, nothing drives that home more than a creative arts uh, collaboration, uh, because we all we you know we all see things a little bit differently, and it's a lot of fun when we can get ourselves sailing in the same direction, and we can get something as as top notch as the ladies put out with uh, 25 hottest indies. Um, so, all right, well, Shane, thank you so much for coming on in. But I understand uh, and talking about the magazine, but I also understand that you uh, you do some writing of your own. You like short stories, and you like to put together. Uh, uh, different kinds of subject matter. Uh, are you working on anything yourself these days? You know, this is actually the best time to be working on something, and I just I haven't had the creative uh, little splurge yet. Yeah, but it it comes. It always comes. Just random sporadic moments for me. So I'm sure sometime in the next few days I'll get something going. Absolutely. Uh, and so what what are you doing with yourself these days? I know uh, everybody is sort of. Uh, we are all kind of self-isolating and trying to do smart things uh, and, and implement our safe at home procedures. Uh, what are you doing with yourself, uh, Shane, as, as we kind of ride this out? Well, I've been preparing for this job coming up, uh, doing some research about talent industry uh, and getting people and working on, you know, with events. Uh, but mostly I've been just reading. I started a book on Otis Redding the other day and it's great so far. I got about 300 pages left of it. So I'll probably crank that out before the weekend's over 
and then uh, just watching as much Netflix as possible, I think. Uh, there you go. There you go. This is a great chance to get caught up on all the binge watching that you missed out on while you were producing a magazine with the ladies, right? So, yep. yeah. All right. Well, Shane, thank you for hanging out with us a little bit today. Uh, we're going to wrap up the interview portion of this over on YouTube by thanking our partners and our friends at Famous Faces and Funnies. Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida, Josh Bauer and Jay Bauer are for all the art that's on our set. Uh, our great friends at NSC Live TV, Kevin Gillette has got an amazing team over there. Morning, uh, Mommy and G Creations, thank you so much to uh, my wonderful daughter, uh, Kimberly, uh, and my beautiful granddaughter, little baby G, and uh, Space Coast Comics and Space Coast Comic Con, of course, uh, for helping share our work all over the web. Uh, thank you for logging on and tuning in. We've been hanging out right now with Shane O'Neill. We've got lots of uh, stuff coming up next, so stay tuned in and stay logged on to see who we're hanging.